Hello and welcome to yet another Photoshop tutorial. This time I will be showing you how to make an image like this, not to uh, not how to uh, to capture the image, but how to uh, how to make the Photoshop effect where you where you go from uh, from an image on a plain gray background to adding a uh, dramatic background effect like this and uh, I'm gonna focus on this seamless uh, transition between the uh, the, the stray hair to the background um, now what you what you want to do to achieve this effect is that you need you need to have the image shot on a uh, on a neutral gray background like this so what we have here is a background that is suiting for this image and just gonna place it here like this now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna rasterize it um, and like that okay what we need is to make a selection a rough selection of our subject here and I'm using my uh, quick selection tool um, just add a quick and rough selection get the hands the arms and um, and you can zoom in here and and if you hold down Alt you um, you deselect an area again, but like this. As you can see here, I have areas that are not selected yet. We'll get back to that. Now I have a pretty rough selection. I'm gonna add a bit more here. Um, but for this purpose, this is fine. Go to select and press inverse. Go to your your background layer which is actually in the front make it visible again and add a layer mask as you can see the icon down here like this and there we go but as you can see it's rough like shit uh, and we wouldn't want to use this but an easy step to make this blend in is to s go to the color f uh, or the blending mode sorry and press overlay normal and overlay and it almost did all the work for us we still have some uh, some small places here and there oh, sorry um, zoom in grab a brush and I'm roughly painting back the clouds and it doesn't matter if I if I uh, paint over uh, my subject as you can see here, I'm painting over the fingers, but because we have the blending mode set to overlay, it's only affecting the gray areas or um, the, the the areas that are close to uh, to that neutral value, the neutral color value. And I'm going to do this in the hair as well. Yes, there we are. To make it look better, I would probably desaturate the whole image a bit. Now the key uh, to making a, a composite image like this work is to uh, to make a good uh, good selection of uh, the, of the background and make sure that it blends it blends well but the key thing is to add layers on top of it. Make sure you do adjustments afterwards so that you both your subject and the background is affected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to desaturate the image a bit. I'm going to add some color balance on the whole layer. Uh, I'm going to add make it a bit bluish actually. Desaturate a bit again. Like that. Um I would probably make a uh, new layer. Do a white white brush and go the flow to like 20 make this make it bigger and then like do this I'm going to illustrate some moonlight or something like that and uh, finally I would add a solid color like that select a blue color like this press enter lower the opacity to about let's say 15 and change the blending mode to screen or lighten uh, I would prefer screen in this case and shove it down a bit and raise it to about let's say f 
it uh, gives a bit of uh, blue light in the uh, darker areas of the image as you can see here but that is a quick and easy way to make the uh, image go from this to this thank you for watching and feel free to comment and uh, and do feel free to request me if there are any kinds of effects you would like for me to demonstrate in um, in Photoshop.